So I am just going to skip the intro today because this is just too good. This is outrageous. Anti-lockdown protester wields vile sacrifice the week poster at Reopen Tennessee rally. What a piece of shit person, right? That That's outrageous. I can't believe anybody could hold a sign like that. And they're letting you know that it's a vile sign too. And you know what? It is vile. It's it's foul. It's nasty. It's unpleasant. It's bad. It's disagreeable. It's horrid. It's horrible. I want you to know that anybody who holds a sign that sacrifice the weak is a terrible person. Let's look at this photo. Oh, there we go. Protesters. Sacrifice the weak. Reopen Tennessee. What a vile person. Let's get a closer look at the sign. Sacrifice the weak. Reopen. Tennessee. God, what a piece of shit person. Let's look at what the other horde protesters have to say. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. One of these things is not like the other. In more than one way. Huh. There's something off. There's something off here. Well, okay, sacrifice the weak. Doom and gloom, terrible, horrid, that's definitely something really blunt to say, and negative, I'd say. Uh, Fau Fauci lied, Main Street died. Oh, well, he's not saying sacrifice, okay. Uh, all jobs are essential, okay, well, that's an economic argument. Not, not only is it an economic argument, it's a, an accounting, a personal finance argument as well. The, a worker argument, power to the work, okay. Doesn't seem to want people to die, she seems... Unemployment. Okay, well, there's um, an argument. It's a black woman. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like they want people to die. Okay, I mean, this is a little more nutty. Natural immunity, that I can agree with to an extent. But this, the overall poster is an anti-vax poster. I don't agree with that, but it doesn't seem like she wants people to die. I think she thinks that uh, vaccinations do more harm than good, so she's operating on a... Faulty, but still a concern for the well-being of other people. She's just highly uneducated in, in many aspects. You're right to be skeptical of uh, vaccinations to an extent. And you're right to, I would say, be skeptical over forced vaccinations under government man, by government mandate. And you're, and you're right to highlight possible negative consequences, side effects of vaccines. That's fine. Uh, trust God for, uh, I mean, you know, mm, uh, she's pretty radical in her religion. I would say that most Christians probably wouldn't say disregard science altogether. I think most normal Christians would say, you know, God gave us the capacity to reason, therefore we should use it. So in that essence, you are trusting God to trust man. This guy, he seems to be embarrassed by those too, but. This sign isn't too unreasonable, free Tennessee. I mean, regardless of how bad you see these two signs or how simple his sign is, they don't want people to be hurt. Liberty is essential, open Tennessee, free Tennessee. Uh, you trust us to keep sanitary any other time, but why don't you now? Or why not now? We can stay safe. Uh, something... SBA, I don't know what, something something is only saving big business, they have screwed small business, uh, I, I don't know what the acronym is there, anyway, yeah, it doesn't seem like they, it seems like they're concerned about the average worker and they're concerned about their freedom, this person just wants to work, alright, let's look at the next, oh, well that's doom and gloom, that's terrible. Wow. What what is this pro healthcare workers dying for your wait a second, this person doesn't agree with the other protesters. That's bizarre. They're in their car why why aren't they out holding this up? wait a second, is there something else that I'm missing? Do you know to huh. Do you other than the overall vibe of their signs, the message they're trying to get across, you notice anything different about all these protesters versus that one who or a scarf. Well, that's just it. The, these people are wanting to reopen. They don't seem all that concerned about covering their faces. Meaning, 
They don't think it's that big of a deal. I have not seen one protester in these photos wearing a mask. Not wearing a mask. Can't tell if he's wearing a mask, but judging by the bridge of his nose, doesn't seem like he's wearing a mask. And if he is, he's only wearing it on his mouth and not wearing it properly. This woman behind here isn't wearing a mask. Neither is the reporter, but probably trying not to muffle audio. Probably keeping a, a safe distance, I would assume. He's not wearing a mask. She's not wearing a mask. She's not wearing a mask. No mask, no mask, no mask, no mask, no mask. No mask, no mask, no mask. Uh, drinking water, it looks like. Some sort. Uh, windows rolled down, sticking hand out, no masks. But this person concerned is in the car, not holding the sign. Taking the virus very seriously. And so is this woman who is saying we should sacrifice the weak. She's wearing a mask. You know, this whole thing, I'm starting to think... She's not an actual protester. She doesn't actually think that Tennessee should reopen. Now, I don't... Huh, is she paid opposition? No, she's probably not paid opposition. But if she was, that would be perfect paid opposition. Take the saying, sacrifice the weak, for a second. Have you heard that before? I haven't, but I've heard something very similar to that. I've heard, you want grandma to die. You just want old people to die. Or, tell that to my grandma who's in the hospital right now from COVID-19, blah, 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 blah. You've all heard that, right? That sounds oddly familiar. It's like it's a talking point from people who want to stay in an indefinite lockdown. Sacrifice the weak. You just want to sacrifice the weak. Is economics really more important than the safety of... You've heard the arguments before. So why is she wearing a mask and nobody else is? That's my first question. Second of all, that is not a talking point that anybody here makes. The closest you'll get to that talking point in any of these signs is natural immunity. And natural immunity isn't the same argument as sacrificing the weak. The closest that I've heard coming to the argument that we should sacrifice the weak is from a poorly worded phrase in support of reopening which is that this virus is mostly only affecting old people and people who are sick who have autoimmune issues and i when i say poorly worded i mean it's insensitive because it's not a false statement those are the people that are mostly suffering from it but it, it can sound like you are disregarding those types of people but i don't think anybody wants those people to die i think most people know someone who has some sort of health issue that would make them susceptible to this respiratory illness. And I think everybody knows oh, an elderly person that they care about for the most part. So this whole thing just does not add up at all. I mean, I could talk about these photos that were included with people yelling at healthcare workers and the fact that healthcare workers are wearing PPE. Let me just quickly say as a side note, I work right now, I'm paying for, I'm going to school, but I work in a food manufacturing facility. So we are required to wear some form of PPE, specifically uh, hairnets, gloves, and a work uniform that is not from the outside. And that is washed by a vendor. We aren't washing it ourselves. And they're going to be stored on premises at all times. If we were to walk outside with our PPE and then come back into the facility, we'd have to take it off and replace it. That's just how it goes. But I imagine that food manufacturing is slightly different from the healthcare field. Not only are you probably going to be concerned to a certain extent about outside contaminants, especially from other people... And bring that into the hospital, you're probably also concerned about taking PPE from the hospital and bringing it outside. Also, aren't we having a shortage of PPE? So why are these doctors wasting it outside? Unless this, this hospital, these hospitals where these nurses work at, are so poorly regulated by themselves or follow faulty practices that they allow their nurses and healthcare workers to go outside with PPE and then bring it back in. But like I said, aren't we having a shortage of PPE? Why are they bringing it outside? I just want to say that real quickly. Nonetheless, this is almost too perfect. Also, aren't hospitals inundated with patients? 
So why are they wasting time impeding other people's traffic? By the way, if you're impeding traffic, you deserve to get yelled at. You're not a fucking hero. I'm sorry. You're a piece of shit. You're not a hero. Is this guy a good guy? Probably not. He's probably just as big of a piece of shit. But I'd be pissed off too if somebody was blocking me. This guy's a piece of shit. He's probably a piece of shit. I don't know. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Anybody who blocks traffic and then that tries to act like a badass because you get and yell that, you get fucked. You get absolutely fucked. Oh no, this person is in their car. They're going to infect so many people. Anyway, the main purpose of this video is to show how outrageous this is. Look, the, this isn't possible, <laughs> protester or fake protester. Go ahead, read this article. Look it up. Anti-lockdown protester wields a vile sacrifice the week poster at Reopen Tennessee rally. Go ahead, look at the article. They don't interview the woman to see if she's a legitimate protester, to see if she's actually a reopener. Let me just make it clear. Just look at these signs. The whole purpose of reopening, or at least what reopeners believe, okay, there is this idea embedded in reopening that without a functioning, stable economy, you are creating weak people. The downtrodden are more susceptible to harm than they would be if there was an economy that is functioning. But right now, we have virtually shut down our economy. It has come to a screeching halt by force, mind you. In order to produce, in, okay, in order to take care of the supposed weak, you need wealth. In order to have wealth, you need a, you need production. In order to have production, you need a functioning economy that is not being inhibited, or prohibited, sorry, prohibited by the government. So let's go over here to truth or fiction. And this is a real image, just so you want to know if you trust this website. Here's the second website. And of course, this is being used by people who don't want to reopen. Sacrifice the weak. Imagine not just thinking of this, but actually writing it out and taking it out on the street in Nashville, Tennessee. Imagine having a brain and not being able to use it. This fucking tard thinks that this person is a real protester. The only protester, mind you... Who's not, or who is wearing a face mask. Meaning she takes the virus very seriously. I guarantee it. <clears throat> uh, t t I mean, the dipshit with the sacrifice the week. So Tennessee can reopen. Let me just read through the comments. Does anybody... Oh no, this is just a... Let's see. Does anybody call this person out? No. How'd you get a blue check mark, but nobody, you won like, holy shit, you're more pathetic than I am. Uh, anyway, uh, I mean, the dipshit with Sacrifice the Week so Tennessee can reopen sign, if that's not photoshopped and actually real, it has to be astroturfing. It's a rare combination of heartlessness and total idiocy, idiocy to openly convey that the amoral state of the world. The only dipshit here is you for thinking that is real. Especially when I guarantee you yourself have accused reopeners of wanting to sacrifice the weak. So how does that click? How does that not click in your mind? I don't. My blood pressure is boiling. Hundred bucks says the guy in the Nashville with the sacrifice the weak sign is also an ardent abortion. Oops, fuck! I can't talk. <laughs> ardent opponent of abortion. Yeah, because let's turn this into something political. Well, it already is political, isn't it? Obviously, this person here is pro-life, is against abortion. Because, you know, there's no way that this person's fake. That's a real conservative right there. Pro-life, 100% against abortion. I, I, I bet you 20 bucks right now, that person is pro-abortion up until... At, Five hours after her birth, I guarantee that she's pro-abortion. I guarantee you she's not like the rest. And she certainly doesn't sound like the rest, and she doesn't act like the rest. Just based on the photo. Photos speak a thousand words. Face mask, no face mask. 
the only two doom and gloom signs are hers and the person who very clearly is not with them, who disagrees with them. This is what we've become, a world willing to sacrifice the weak. In the womb, on the streets, in our jails. Those who are suffering, those who are elderly. Lord, have mercy on us all. God, these people. Okay. Uh, this may be a false flag protester. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you for being the only per- The person who doesn't have a profile picture at all, of course, is the most reasonable one here. Uh, I really have to suspect a prankster infiltrator here, particularly with the position right behind the reporter. Yeah. Anybody else noticing that she's <laughs> um, wearing a face mask? Uh, that's a false flag sign about lockdown proponents. Okay, thank you. Um, <sighs> of course, people, I don't even, is it a lot, what do you think? Is it a lack of critical thinking skills? Is it a lack of mental integration? Or is it people just wanting to believe, wanting to believe that the other side just hates people? Just hates the old, hates weak people so much that they want them to die just to reopen. Is that what people actually think? Let me know. What do you think? Kansas City Star, sacrifice the weak, give me liberty signs at coronavirus. Yeah, because they're the same. Look, tyranny is spreading faster than the China virus. She's probably the most... Again, that's not bad. She's obviously blunt because she doesn't give a fuck that anybody says the China virus is racist. <sighs> of course. Of course. So let me know in the comment section below. What, what, what the f Do you think that's a fake protester? And do you think these people who are using it to support their political position and to demonize reopeners, do you think they lack critical thinking skills? Or do you think they don't care they do have critical thinking skills but they're they're turning it off just so they can demonize the other side they're choo it's willful ignorance they're choosing not to see that it's obviously an infiltrator it's obviously fake god look at that smug ah oh, never mind <laughs> um i'll leave you with this well actually here's the other part of the question or do you think it's both do you think they both lack critical thinking skills? It goes beyond just willful willful ignorance. And they will use anything to demonize somebody they disagree with. But I will leave you with this. I am not an advocate of killing people or of violence. You know, I don't want people to die from a virus. And that, that goes... I would broaden that principle to every sort of aspect out there. Like, I wouldn't want people... To drop dead. I wouldn't want people to step out onto the road and get smoked by a bus. But if I did. No, no. I, I don't support it. At all. But if somebody were to get hit by a bus. I'd prefer to be this person. That smug bitch. And my ex-cunt girlfriend. Have a good day.